Welcome to another installment of Magic After Dark. We are joined by our co-host, Nekasaur. Nekasaur, how you doing, man? You doing all right? Hey, I heard you were seeing Quadruple the other day. You should probably get that checked out. Wait, what did you say? You want to see the world burn one card draw at a time? Well, you know what? Me too, buddy. Let's do this. Welcome to the Magic After Dark takeover of the EDH Lounge. We have four times the card draw. We have four times the pain. And if you're keeping score at home, four times the fun. My name is Jolton. I'll be playing Negasaur. Eli, what are you playing? Uh, I am playing um, Negasaur. Oh, ah, very nice. Fancy that. PJ, what are you playing? Uh, I can't believe you guys brought the same commander as me, but I'm also playing Nekusar. And, uh, uh, I met a game. I met a game extra hard for this one. Yeah, me too. Me too. And across <laughs> the pond, we have Tribal Kai joining us from the EDH Lounge. What are you playing, buddy? Hello, I am playing Nekusaurus Rex as well. <laughs> <laughs> very nice, very nice. And just as a quick reminder, we are all recording from our very own perspective. Eli over at Cardboard Confrontation, PJ at Commander Replay, and Tribal Kai at the EDH channel. So make sure you bounce around, check out our opening hands, leave a comment, like, and subscribe, because you know what? We're YouTube people and we love comments. So anyway, let's have some fun. Welcome to the EDH Lounge. <laughs> Uh, I've, yeah, you talk about the awkwardness of having two check lands in my opener. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about this. This I've always ever since we did the attracts uh, four times the tracks, I'm like, man, I want to do four times the extra <laughs> real bad. <laughs> that attracts the game was silly. Yeah, that that was fun. <laughs> But um, we should have placed bets before this to see how long this game's gonna last. <laughs> man, I'm I'm kind of thinking that it's gonna. <sighs> I don't know. I don't think it's going to go super quick. I, I I can see it kind of being this weird, like PJ mentioned, like you've got these weird inbred meta games. Like, like I kind of mm. backed off like the wheel effects a little bit and hoping other people would run wheel. I don't know. It's just going to be, uh, uh oh, I did that too. <laughs> yeah. No one's running wheels. <laughs> it's like we, everybody uh, like loads up on life gain. So it turns into like an hour and a half long life gain match. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends Ooh. entirely on how much meta games going on. Yeah. But this is, uh, man, I, I yeah, I'm glad we're doing this. He's always been my favorite commander. And for the people at home, I, I've always called him Nekasaur. Like, and I know that's not the correct way to pronounce it, but like that's just how I've always called it. So it feels weird to s pronounce it the correct way. So I'm <laughs> dyslexic or some sort of, some version of that. So anyway, <laughs> I've been calling him that for like two years. So before you hop in the comments, uh, that is why. <laughs> Do you know Aurelia is actually pronounced Aurelia? Really? Yeah, I'm not changing it at this point, though. Yeah, you oh, see, really? and that's kind of what it is. It's like, a, he's like my buddy. Like, uh, it's like when you have a friend in school and then, like, the substitute teacher calls roll call and calls them by their legal name. You're like, oh, I never knew that. Who's John? <laughs> yeah, who's John? <laughs> it's kind of like that. It's like, it's just Nekasaur. That's just what it is. <laughs> the spelling note for, by Wizards of the Coast has always been a little bit janky in that regard. Like, yeah. They, they want it to be pronounced a certain way, but then they spell it another way. So it's pretty difficult. If they could just like send us content creators a pronunciation guide when yes. they send out, that would be magical. I don't know why they don't do that. That drives me nuts. Okay, let's see. I think I pronounce uh, Najila the Blade Blossom incorrectly. I pronounce her Naila on my channel. Um, and apparently she's actually based on a real, a real name. That name is uh, from... Arabic, I think. Oh. And it's pronounced, uh, it's spelt N-A-J-I-L-A -A instead of the double E. Okay. And you just think, well, if it's, if it's based on a real name, why don't you just use the actual spelling? You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. No, that, that makes sense. And like, um, I, I forgot who said of it, like why they don't prov uh, provide a pronunciation guide with a new set. Yes. It's like beyond me because like there's so many times where like, I pr oh yeah, howling mine. Right. There's that uh, howling mine. There's a lot of times where uh, I'll pronounce a uh, commander name and then people are like, OMG. <laughs> <laughs> How did you not know that the, this was this and that? I'm like, dude, like, there's like a thousand cards in Commander. The fact that I've gotten like 99% of them somewhat right, like, I consider that a success. So, How do you guys say Kalitas? I say Kalitas. Okay. Like, see, <laughs> um, somebody called him Kalitas, and I thought that was the yep. stupid, like, I cannot handle that. I'm like, it's, it makes him sound like Cletus, like an old, Cletus like, a yokel. yeah, like a country <laughs> folk. I'm like, no, I'm not calling it. He's such a cool looking guy. Oh, Ivory Tower. Yeah, I forgot to put that card in. <sighs> yeah, I've got Who some life games. this gem? <laughs> Dang it. Yep. All right, so we've got the metagame going. <laughs> 
Didn't this thing get like banned from like most formats at one point in time? Yeah, I love like looking at the old ban list from back in the day when it was just kind of like, oh man, this is. There's a waste knot. This is turning into a big old ant pile right now. <laughs> yeah, what are we on turn three, and we're already starting to worry about each other's spells. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm out of lands. I need to like catch a land with that howling mine. Okay. You guys are worried. I just got my foot to the gas pedal. I'm like, whatever happens, happens. <laughs> I like that. Okay. <laughs> I think yeah. If we're going to be getting a lot of card draw, Eli, your your tactics here aren't actually the worst because you don't want to be discarding things with a waste knot in play, for instance. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I thought about playing no wheels at all and just the dry phase and just paying. Yeah, the letting everyone price. else do it for you. Yeah. Where's that reliquary tower? I had thought about going like all burn spells and letting you guys play the wheels. <laughs> like, bolt you, incinerate you, lava spike you. Okay, so none of us are playing wheels, is what I'm hearing. Yeah, no wheels. This is the, the worst Nekusar <laughs> game and I, ever. And I just discarded my wheel effect. <laughs> Turn two, young Chiromancer. Turn three, the Goblin Gutter Snipe. So, like, Nekasaur, he's always been my buddy. Like, he's, like, the first, like, my first commander deck was Omnath. And then after that, like, I built Nekasaur, and I was like, man, this is, like, you can win in Magic without, like, getting big dumb creatures off the battlefield. You can win in this wild way. Like, I guess, like, who would be your four four times commander that you, like, PJ and Travel Kai and Eli, like, who's, who would be y'all's, like... I want this to be a four times lounge. Elish Norn. Elish mm. Norn. Oh, that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be very Think interesting. For a second. Think yeah. Gonti. Gonti. Oh, yeah, that would be good. Unesh have speed. Uh, speed magic. Ooh. Unesh. Uh, oh my gosh, Unesh would be brutal. Yeah. What I about you? Actually, I haven't built this deck. I, I've just been easing my way into multiplayer over the past few weeks and saw yeah. the other night a Gishoth deck. So maybe four of those would be interesting. Oh, that would, man. That'd be just Dino Rumble right there. That'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> Jurassic <Yeah>. Park. <laughs> I, I want to get some fast mana going real bad. I'm jealous of uh, Eli's soul ring. Yeah, that's a, that's a fine play. Ooh, that's... Uh, all great. right. Okay, mm. pain starting. I think he's down. <laughs> Uh, discard. Come on, land. Let's go. No lanes. No lanes for for PJ. <laughs> no lanes. Get this ivory tower going. <laughs> That's gonna be problematic. Yeah, that is. And I don't think I brought in any artifact hate. All right. All right. It's uh, it's something. That's and better than nothing. Blast in. I love the uh, the art on the new check lands. They, oh man, they look so good. Oh right, that one doesn't work there. Uh, let us. I think we're just gonna go ahead and uh, shoot this thing. It's kind of fun running enchantments in. Uh... Oh, yeah, I like that. It's fun running enchantments in these, you know, when you got four times Nekasaur, because you're like, you know, black, like there's not really much you can do with enchantments in like this these color are just set. just going to stick there the whole yeah, game. Yeah, so it kind of <laughs> feels good knowing like, well, should I put this in here? I was like, hey, that's going to, somebody's going to have to jump through some hoops to even take care of it. So I'm like, yeah, go for it. Who brought an Ugin? <laughs> yeah. Nope. Nope, no Ugin over here. Man, I love that border frame. The, uh, the inventions? Yeah, they, I mean, they just knocked it out of the park. And then I feel oh, like yeah. the way people took the in, the innovation, what, the invocations or whatever? Yeah, yeah, the invocations, those didn't go so well. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, it was n different, but it was just like, man, that was... <sighs> I think the problem with the invocations for me is that, like, they just didn't feel like magic cards, where the inventions feel like magic cards, and they look yeah. beautiful. Like, I still want them, but they're still so expensive. Yeah. I thought that the, uh, like, supply would eventually kind of catch up, and, like, the, you know, the lesser ones would dwindle down in price, and that really has not happened. Mm -mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, what is it? Foil, foil rares are more rare than mythics, aren't they? 
Foil rares are more rares than mythics. Uh, are, more, are more rare than mythics with regards to their, their print quantity? I would think so. I think so. I heard that somewhere. And then yeah, I wonder sounds... how rare the, the um, uh, that cycle of cards is. Overdice. Or however you say that, Kurt, what the... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's the metagame right there. <laughs> look at it for a second. Yeah, just like, what, why have we got a sheep in there? <laughs> yeah, no, it was fun uh, trying to, like, um, <laughs> I was like, all right, so if I'd load up on these, this, like, spell package, and then this spell package, anticipate this, I mean, definitely, and that was one of the cards that I was like, yeah, this, I'm going to run that one in there. Yeah, I need to catch the mana rocks too. So. Yeah, I was hoping to hit one off of Tezzeret earlier, but we'll see. I feel behind. You know what would have looked really good in the in that frame? Because I think about what would look good in those uh, invention frames is Howling Mine. Like, however they would have done that. Like, because oh, yeah. the art already looks cool to begin with right now with the skull and then like that orange color. Yeah. I can yeah. imagine like how good that would have looked if they'd made it like that. And th there was something else I thought about the other day. Uh -oh, all right, we got Nexusaur. Let's go. Um, there's another artifact that I was like, man, that would look good as an uh, invention. But yeah, I think with the uh, the invocations, like it was just they went so like I enjoyed the initial look of it, but they just went so like the bordering looked so bad on it. I think I think that's yeah. what ended up just kind of like killing it. Was just like the border was so big, but like they were on point with the theme. It was just like. My problem is that, like, when someone plays them at the table, I literally can't read them. Yeah, I mean, it was like, like so dark in color. Like, I I get the you know when I use a hieroglyphic font, but I mean for like a card name, like it's so important to kind of very quickly be able, even if you don't know what the art is, you can see days on it. You're like, oh, okay, days, like, like you know, you know what days does. But it was just right. It's hard, like you mentioned, it's hard to see the art. Then it's hard to see the font, and it's just like. I remember when they passed them out as like previews to people and people were like, oh, well, I can't wait to show it. it it's going to be interesting. And I remember thinking like, okay, I'm, I'm curious to see what this is going to be. Oh, excuse me. Is it true that they look better in paper than they do when you're looking at them on a, on a computer screen or on Magic Online that you can kind of uh, turn them to the light and see what they were going for? I've heard that, but I, to be honest, I've never seen one in person. Like I, I play no, either, but... with the sleeve on, they're very dark. Like yes. it's actually very hard to read them, but, um, I think a little better. Not much though. I'm just trying to think like they've got the pillars to the side, haven't they? And yeah. I'm just wondering if that's, you know, with the foil effect, maybe just kind of looks 3d. That's obviously what they were going for. I think. Yeah, like I, I need to see it in person. It probably makes a difference, but it's still like, it's almost like if you think about it, like, you know, it just has to be like a card only looks good in paper. Like maybe they kind of somehow still miss the boat, even if that's the case. Like, because there's times where I've got Wrath of God in the uh, invocation. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I like that. Take care of that ivory tower. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like it's it's hard to even like in pay on Magic Online. It's just like bleh, sometimes. Yeah, like they give it to that ivory tower. Oh, man, that was that was <laughs> that was gonna bring us home. <laughs> Come down with the rest of us. Yeah, PJ was all high and mighty, <laughs> just like look at these peasants with no life gain. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I missed the Ivory Tower, man. I, I would have loved to put that in yeah. here. Yeah. I'm like, oh, wait a second. I know what card needs to be in here. Mm -hmm. Bringing it all the way back to my youth. I'm just, it's just, I, I wanted some mana rocks real bad. I want to bust this open. And also, speaking of the, the card art, the uh, the Zendikar Expeditions, like, those were really good, too. Those look good. It's yeah, just those ones look nice. Yeah, it's just crazy how... It's just, and to me, it's just the bordering. If they had just done, like, the proxy guy... He had done, um, the proxy guy had done like a mock up of it where he kept the original theme that they were going for and just really kind of reduced the bordering around the art and just made a world of difference. So, yeah. I saw, uh, who is it? MSJ Alters, I think. 
uh-huh. on Twitter yesterday did a beautiful altar on Badlands. Like, Ooh. Looks looks nothing like the original, but it is just an amazing piece of art. <laughs> Nekasaur is turned into he is officially a land now. It's a land. Oh man, I have like all the signets and I'm not finding any of them. <laughs> <laughs> I just want mana rocks. I have a oh. worn power stone, but it's so slow with everyone <laughs> up to these starts. Yeah, I, I've got a mana. Yeah, I've got three and dynamo. I'm trying to d- see what I'm going to draw into before I get it down. Is imprisoned in the moon on my side of the field on, on your end? Yeah, yeah. It's underneath yeah, it waste not. Does it? <laughs> okay. uh, I don't know why. Dude. It's just like well, why? Why wouldn't it be? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What else did you expect? <laughs> It feels like it can't be that hard to fix that problem. Uh, yeah, it's only this version of Magic Online. It wasn't on the previous ones. Yep. Oh, so it's a feature in the new one. I don't uh, know. I just don't understand how, like, things got worse <laughs> with, <laughs> with this client. That's a pretty good card. Yeah, it is. Let's see if this sticks. All right. What are those? <laughs> Um. Yeah, let's go there. Hmm, Tesseret. Find a Minecraft. Tesseret and four. Yeah, oh, you <laughs> I forgot to put Decimal in here. I knew that. Like I, I built the deck yesterday, and I was like. Um, <laughs> dang it. Demon Sword, we're going deep. <laughs> Has anyone ever cast Demon Sword in a Commander game? Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm uh-huh. sure they have. You know, the one, uh, the cycle that checks for the land coming into play also, like, they're actually it's good. good, but like, I could see a situation <laughs> where it might be usable. I've seen them used to quite, quite a good effect before, yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe in a more casual sense, but yeah, they they can be all right. Yeah, every point of uh, every point of and I think, dang it, I should have sequenced that turn a lot differently. <laughs> I just now realize I hate that when you're like you get so like it's my turn, I got to do it, and then you're like, oh crap, yeah. as you're passing yeah. the turn, and you're like, dang oh, it. that's that's one thing people don't understand. Hey, come on now. <laughs> no, that's one thing people don't understand about uh, content creators, and you're you're trying to concentrate on. Yes, uh, making your sentences actually cohesive and make at yeah. least a little bit of sense. And uh, then, oh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? No, I was trying to make at least a little bit of sense with my commentary. So yeah, yeah I, uh, uh-huh. I messed up a little bit there. I have a bad habit of like getting halfway into a sentence and then changing thoughts because either something happens on screen oh, yeah. or like I'm thinking too fast and I can't absolutely get the words out right. And then you know we just cut all that in the editing process, but. <laughs> <laughs> Paper stag. <laughs> Vapor snag damage help. Heart of nightmares. I love your scar. Um, okay. I uh, I played standard during the Snapcaster Vapor Snag era. Uh huh. Oh, it is a card of nightmares for you then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it doesn't that, matter what you play against Snapcaster Vapor Snag. It, life is just going to be miserable. That was um, that was when I got into Magic uh, kind of the first time, but I didn't play Standard during that one. It was like a year after that. So like, okay. I, I got in during the... I just think of... Every time I think of Standard, I think of Sphinx Revelation and Snapcaster and oh, all, yep. all that fun stuff. And so, because I remember like, you know, I, I was just getting into that and like my deck was like, I had a budget of $30. And so when like somebody would just be playing Esper, uh, <laughs> playing Esper against me with the Sphinx Revelation, I'm like, man, they're cheating. So I hated the deck, but I always think <laughs> of Standard whenever I think of that now. Yep. And that's the same I thing with... Just before that. It always reminds me of uh, Splinter Twin because then I got into Modern and I hated Splinter Twin because that was like the number one deck. And yep. then once I finally got to the point in Modern to where I appreciate the deck as like a, you know, a fun deck to pilot and a fun deck to play against, it got banned and I want to play it so bad now. Yeah. So I'm going like, to been, you know, I keep seeing like all the commentary about unban it. It's fine. And 
even I think even I'm coming around to the idea. I'm like, you know what? It's probably fine. There's so many turn three decks running around. I now mean, that, like, like when you see Hollow One and you see like all these other yeah. like I remember thinking like I, I think the thought of putting down a three drop creature and then tapping out four mana for an enchantment is like <laughs> I'm like, yeah, if seems, that's what you uh, want to do, more power to you because right. like slow motion compared to everything else yes and like then people talking about you know well that's going to take over the blue tempo deck like i will take my life gain thank you very much and um you know you just think about like you know maybe it does kind of take over the blue control deck but i'm really excited have did y'all see any of the uh, modern horizon spoilers uh i saw the was it sarah planeswalker yeah yeah and the um what was the black black creature the cabal therapist uh yeah, something oh. like that. Something. Cabal, something. Mana drain. Yes, I mana would like. Drain. Now oh. I got some mana ramp. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is uh, we've made it. Uh, we've made it to the twenty minute mark, so that's pretty good so far. <laughs> oh yeah, yep, doing good. <laughs> it's been a lot less chaotic than I assumed it was going to be. It's like. Uh, it's like we've all like we're having the uh, the gunfight out in the wild wild west where everyone's just got their hand right next to their gun just ready to grab it. <laughs> we've all we've all got nukes pointed at each other. Yeah, we're just waiting <laughs> to push that button. Mutually assured destruction. That's exactly <laughs> it. Um, what are we doing? We need. What I would do, PJs. I would tap out and right. not do anything. I would heed that advice. Yeah, I I support that. So that's what. Let's throw that little guy right there. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Hey now. No one wheel, including you, PJ. Warren Powerstone. Okay. Finally, get a mana rock down. <laughs> come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Don't you do it! Don't you do it! <laughs> 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 So I see you guys brought control decks. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, man, I've, I've got like two wheel effects in here. Just <laughs> I'm waiting for this. Brings this control. I'm waiting for the smoke to clear. And then that's when like <laughs> stuff happens. You know, but even then, if you, if you built a control deck, you know, you're trying to keep your opponents in control. The fact that you're trying to build that deck and like, like everybody has access to card draw, so it's just kind of like yeah. <laughs> you can never get to the point where you like get some solid two for ones. It's always just going to rebuild, or even something like waste nod. That's uh, that's going to be hard to play against. Yeah, I uh, should have just put forty five removal spells in here. I really, really enjoy that waste knot is has the tag on the bottom designed by the magic community. That's so like <laughs> I love that. Oh, wow. Yeah, I never noticed that. Yeah. It was like in M in 15. I wish they did this again, but they had a lot of guest designers make cards for like the set. Like um, yep. the aggressive mining was Notch from Minecraft and then a few other things. So I don't know. I think that's pretty cool that they, you know, there's a lot of room to do that in a core set. That's a really good card. Yeah, I've heard you wax lyrical about this before on your channel, PJ. Ooh. Yeah, and like I still don't play it. Like I talk about how awesome it is, <laughs> and then I don't put it in my deck, and then I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Especially it's only in this, okay in this meta. Oh, I remember now. Yeah, because I always thought she was like a vampire spider lady, and then I realized that was her dress. Yep, that's right. I remember that now. Like the little ribbons look like she'd be a vampire spider lady. Like those are her little legs or whatever. Okay, let's see what we cash into. Ah, yes, we found it. The tower. Tower of power. Oh, nice. Yeah, I need to get one of those. Tezzeret's a clever include in a Grixis deck, considering how much you need to ramp with artifacts. Mm -hmm. I love. Yeah, I didn't think with that. If if any like if there's any way I can just jam Tezzeret in something, I'm like, yep, here we go. <laughs> Even if I'm forcing it, I, I love playing Tezzeret. Okay. I uh, actually used the original Tezzeret the other day, and like, not a card that I've played a lot of, and I'm like, this thing's good. Yeah. Ted, I mean, like, and I've been, like, I've been playing a lot of Arena, and, um, you know, Tezzeret works out, like, I'm building a Grixis Tezzeret, uh, not Tezzeret deck, but a Grixis just, uh, kind of like control style deck with, uh, Nicol Bolas and different things, 
and uh, oh yeah, I got it to stick. And then, uh, but yeah, it's been fun. You know, you, you get down a couple because I've been also running the Power Stone shards in there. It's kind of like a Tron pseudo Tron build, and uh, you know, getting down Tezzer, it feels really good to use that zero ability to cash in a couple card draw or something. Just get it down and. Yeah. Like, kind of be like, hey, I'm just going to keep drawing an extra card per turn. If you want to swing in at Tezzeret, go for it. And then you can see. see what I got for us. Yeah, let's see. Let's see. It's sort of fun we got. Ooh. Nope. Yep, that's a card. Okay. See, th this is where I, I didn't think the game would go long. I just thought the game would get to the point to where there's so many different variables that it's just like your brain can't. <laughs> like we got fever yeah. visions and we've got fluted bonds <laughs> and we've got like waste not. And you're kind of like, all right, if I go for the wheel effect and travel Kai gets a hundred zombies, am I dead? Then So this is where it's just like, okay. Yeah, you get to the point where you just give up and uh, I'll just wheel and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> well, do the welcome to the lounge. And there you go. You won. <laughs> Yeah, what did he, what did Eli say? A, a baptism by fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, except every time we have someone new on, I think they win. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I remember when Austin uh, from Commander ninety nine he was on, and he was uh, <laughs> like, we were kind of like, I felt like I was being nice to him. We were being nice, and next thing you know, he's like, well, pow! He's like karate chopping us in the head. I'm like, dang it. Yep, that happened with Pleasant Kenobi as well. Was it Tat Yova? <laughs> yeah, Tat Yova. Yeah, Tat -Yova. Yeah, he just played by himself for half an hour. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was just, I remember being like, dang it. The worst part was I was playing Fire Song and Sunspeaker that one. I had 10 board wipes in my deck, and I did not draw <laughs> a single one. Oh, yeah, I think I remember that. Oh, then What was oh, that, that oh. other lounge that we did that you, um, like, you just couldn't catch a land for, like, 18 turns or something like oh, that? Oh, the, uh, <laughs> the Blade Wing the Risen one. Yes, that's what it was. I remember you were just like, well. Oh, Pre-modern. <laughs> <laughs> i won that one but like it it didn't even feel good like i was just like this is awful this is, the <laughs> this is horrible <laughs> i don't remember that one did you did you win because people left you alone due to not oh, yeah, being land drops? Drops. like oh, so was it? it was it was pre-modern and we were all playing black and pre-modern black means just a ton of removal like yeah that's all you nothing do. stayed in play so I literally took like, I'm not kidding, 10 turns off because I just couldn't make a <laughs> land drop. And uh, then somehow like everyone just wore each other down and then I was able to get Blade Wing down. Who were you playing, Eli? It was, what was his name? I think he had Urtai. Is that right? For which one? For the pre-modern pre Urtai. Uh, yeah, Ur yeah, Urtai the Corrupted. Yeah. So he was playing that and I was playing uh, Zero the Riz or whatever her name is. And uh, not the Risen, but she was the uh, the Bumblebee Jun commander where you draw a card. And, like somehow, <laughs> oh, Zira. I, yeah, Zira. I went Cavu Tribal and somehow I ended up drawing more cards than Eli. And I just felt like, even though I didn't win, I was like, yes, like my Jun Cavu <laughs> Tribal deck. Like, and then the other thing was, um, oh, what was it? The fact that I think I like tapped out for like five mana and that was just to get down a kicked Cavu. That was like a 3 3. Everybody's like, oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> So this is what this game is. I'm like, yep. You want to know what that dies to? Everything. In this <laughs> Everything. Game. With a five-minute kicker to make a 3-3 three, three with Vigilance or something. It was just something <laughs> like like not even just not good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's some things. Some parasites. Parasite. Now, now, uh, a PJ, you can't cast the Locust God because he does have a commander tax out of your hand now. So <laughs> I wouldn't, don't try to do that. Well, let me count up the mana anyway, to figure out what we got. Oh, man. <laughs> the punishment's starting to take over. <laughs> uh, three, four, eight. That three, God eight. cycle didn't work when it went to the graveyard for the longest time. And I don't know if yeah. that's been fixed now. Yeah, that happened Ooh. to me in a video uh, a while back. That happened to me a lot, but I just forgot to send him to the graveyard. <laughs> well, that's that's uh, I recorded with the Scarab God the other day, and I did exactly that because I was pre-programmed to not send it to the graveyard because yep. it's broken. Yep. And now that it's supposed to work, I, I need to reprogram myself the other way now. <laughs> yeah, that that's like you mentioned. That it's uh it's hard. Ooh. Yeah, that is that's a pretty clever include. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. Idea. I love that. There's just so many cards that come down where everybody's like, mm hmm, okay, <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. 
<laughs> yes, Stro- like stroking our chins. Like I didn't include that. Like that's. Yeah. <laughs> that's gonna be some good mana. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I didn't actually think that was going to work. Where are we going? Um, where is this? That seems like a problem. Do you, do you ever come across Nehebim one versus one because it's surprisingly good? Oh, oh yeah. I, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I've played against them before, and it's like if you just have a couple spot removal, it's okay as long as you keep them in check. But if you don't have yeah. spot removal, it is like Eldrazi Fest, and you're like, yeah. And it's almost just like, like you just. Like somebody like says says your name and you turn around and you just get like karate kicked in the face. You're like, bam. And it's just like so much stuff. Like they just end up with so much man. You're kind of like, okay, well, I don't know how to. Good game. <laughs> I think Neheb is still underplayed. Like I think it should be in most red decks. It's such a good card. Yeah, it's it, very it, good. It is. I mean, it's just, it's free real estate. It's free mana, man. Yeah. And it's got, it just has like a, a great body on it too. Four, six for five mana. It just mm-hmm. like, it does. It does a lot for its mana cost. Jolt, you got the most life. You uh, what? I don't have the most <laughs> life. Well, kind of. <laughs> oh, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> that's how math works. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Uh, that's seven mana. We Locust have- God. That way we can get some wheel effects and some insects, have some zombies, and have some fevered visions as we. <laughs> right. I thought about playing every controller magic since I figured everyone's going to be. <laughs> that, oh, that would have been miserable. Uh, uh, okay. Can't go for him. No, I'm going to have to read this card about six times yeah, so before I remember what how is to play this? it. This card is amazing. <laughs> to show yeah, one one basic it's lane a Yeah, one of you want is just a straight up four for one. Is it um, really? Oh, yeah, because they, they can't choose you, right? So they have to choose their <laughs> own permanents. I want to play that now. Yeah, I've copied it in 1v1 with a... Uh, the goggles before it's pretty filth oh man yeah that's eight, good eight, eight for one <laughs> eight for one it's <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs> an instant like how's that card in an instant yeah that's yeah, that's what oh <laughs> <laughs> yes. No. Yes. I want my Sangromancer. <laughs> the relic we really care about. Yeah, that Sangromancer will keep you. Oh, man. <laughs> the, oh, PJ said it's undisappointed at all. Oh, <laughs> I mean, I get it. it. I, 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 I get the support bit. <laughs> Can I take it Volcan- back? <laughs> Volcanic Offering is like. It, it's like it's five mana. So you're like, oh, man, it's five mana. That just feels like a lot. But then just like, it's so good every well, time I it's play like. It. Yeah, I mean, even one versus one, destroy a land and then seven damage. And then, like, then you have times where, like, somebody played that against me and I didn't understand what was going on and I clicked on my own land. So, <laughs> like, I destroyed <laughs> two of my lands. So I was like, dang it. Or, well, yep. I guess, I don't know how that worked because it's supposed to be one you don't. Somehow I ended up, like, blowing up my own creature or something. Like, it, <laughs> they, they got a two for one out of the deal. I can't remember how it happened, but it was it was not fun. We're almost we, I was doing a two versus two the other day, and I played this thing, and I realized that like the other two opponents didn't have non basic lands down, so I actually had to shoot my opponent, my allies' land. <laughs> uh, I'm like, sorry about that, but you know the creatures, the creatures we're killing are very important right now. So. Well, look at Jace's over there, not just a little bit of table talk. Jace is getting a little fat and happy over there. Look at Jace. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> look yeah, at him. Was yeah, it's oh, not too much, actually. Well, Tezzer doesn't do much. I mean, I think the the main factor is Jace is getting real fat and happy. He's at a Tezzer he's at a buffet. <laughs> I, honestly, Scouts promise I did, I forgot to put Minecraft in here. Nice. Uh, I, is, I, I, is, Scouts promise hundred percent. Like I know I like to 
fib a little bit. People, Joel, you forgot that. Yeah. Well, I met a game so hard, and then I was like, I I went to go like because I had to go somewhere. I had to. That's what it was. My sister and I were gonna go get some comics, and uh, I was working on the deck, and then um, I was in the shower, and I was like, oh, I need to my add mind crank and dust mantle after well, like before I leave, and then by the time I got ready, I forgot. Okay, the vampiric link has gone under my sangromancer, so that confused me for a second. No, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. That's an interesting <laughs> line. Uh, it's, it looks like it's attached to the right spot. It's just that, it's, That's a good yeah. meta. That's a good call, too. This Devil's sure. Horn. Ooh, fancy <laughs> tuber. And I love the art on Devil's Horn, like... Like, I don't really, like, I get that it's a devil's horn, but, like, the background is so, it makes it look like a sci-fi spaceship or something like that. Yeah. Like, I don't get why that background was chose for devil's horn, but, hey. <laughs> you know what I miss? I miss when uh, the backgrounds were a bit more abstract. Yeah. Like, now they're always trying to convey, like, whatever city or plane that they're yeah. on. But I feel like it clutters things up too much, and now there's just, like, too many things going on on the cart. Crap. <sighs> 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 yeah. Someone count with that. Why? Eli's making me nervous, saying nothing over there. Mm, just looking at my hand. Don't look at your hand, just pass priority. You're okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just pass priority. <laughs> Come on, we've all got lives to live after this. Come on. Hurry up. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, no. uh, oh, out comes Frankie. <laughs> yeah, Frankie. <laughs> you got Hold your very own Frankie. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when I did that story and then somebody left a comment and they're like, dude, like I thought you were serious for a long time. I was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> How long have they been watching you? They don't get your sense of yeah. humor. <laughs> they're like, they're like, for, I had to look it up for a second. I was like, yeah, well, that's good. I like that. <laughs> Where's that little Laura? Why does Sangromancer have less power? Oh, Jace? Yeah, Jace, Jace targeted that, yeah. Good job, Jace. Fat and happy Jace. Hey, he's just uh he's just looting. Okay. Very wise. Let's see. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting some uh, some very, very nice options over here. The control deck isn't happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm getting some, I'm just ripping lands. Blah, that's it. That's nasty. Yuck. Wish I had some answers. I love the art on Vampiric Link. It just like the card, like the, the black and gray tone works so well with the border and like the framing. Yeah. Oh. I love it. It's a good, it's a good magic card right there. I've used that card a few times to uh, prevent big things from attacking into me. Okay, so let's go. But the best thing is, PJ. I think I'm right in saying this. If it if they swing into someone else with that big creature, you'll still get the life, won't you? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was a one versus one where I used it, so it's kind of just like a, uh, you know, it does nothing now. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah, there's certainly, certainly a place for it. Sometimes I get frustrated that, like, there aren't enough deck slots. I want, like, the 200-card commander format where I can just, like, load <laughs> in all the jank. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, absolutely no consistency at that point. Right, yeah. Like, I, like I, I just want to play with random cards, it's like, yeah. all right, if I want this deck to be good, then I got to run my tutors, got to run the board wipes, got to run the, you know. And it's like, how many deck slots do you actually get after that? Not enough to uh, screw around with Vampiric Link, usually. Yeah, exactly. You you run your, your artifacts and your cultivates or whatever whatever else you need. You can almost have um, some kind of template for most of your decks. Yeah, oh and yeah. Then you're down to, what, a 40-card deck at that point. Yeah, 30, 35 sometimes. Yeah. What's this now? 
Z. Nothing to see here. Nothing to oh, see yep. here. Mm-hmm. We'll keep on going. Keep on moving. Keep on moving, everybody. Okay. That is actually a very good card for only two mana. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Deceptively so. Also, it's life loss also, which, uh, you know, is a good thing. Megrim is damage. Much yes, Ma- yes, Megrim is uh, three mana, isn't it? Yep. But it's damage. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping to cash it in for that Locust God. But... Poor Nahab. <laughs> So, what, you're not friends with Frankie anymore, or what? <laughs> not friends. No, he's, I'm going to send him back to the <laughs> Izzet lab as a zombie. <laughs> I'm sure Niv Mezzet would enjoy that. It'll give him something to do. And then, yeah, I think that's good. That was a kind of low-key turn. Not a whole lot happened on my end. I still just love the art on the Heb. Giant flaming spear. Oh, it just feels yeah. like the most red card. Oh, I was like, where did I get that card draw from? And then I forgot. Yeah, I got the fever visions. <laughs> yeah, I was like, wait, what just happened? I was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Got the fever. <laughs> uh, for a minute, I thought about trying to build an Owling Mine style deck. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that would have been fun. Uh, I shifted away from that pretty quickly, though. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to. I'm glad I didn't now because we don't seem to be piling in on the wheel effect. But yeah, yeah. No. I I just wanted to put lots and lots of removal into here and kind of uh, rely yeah. on everyone else's card draw. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was doing too. So like, we've all kind of like <laughs> met again. But I will say this Devil's Horn. I was worried about putting these in here, and I'm so glad I did because the Devil's it's Horn working, is man. It's, it's working, man. It's working. Putting some work. There's. You know, most of these Nekasaur decks end up being like, you know, 50% black or whatever. <laughs> All right, let's see. I think I, I had a fairly even spread of colors. Yeah, my, mine was basically Demir splashing red. That was kind okay. of what I ended up coming, what it ended up being. All right, what's Eli got? Uh oh. Ooh, okay. So we got a swung. Oh, yep. yep. That's a, that's a pretty good card. Yep. That's the thing. Pretty good card. <laughs> That'll definitely keep a, uh, let's see. That's going to get, uh, now we're getting to the fun part, especially if a PJ gets down to the locust God too. <laughs> <laughs> locust Wars. Uh, hold on. I got to read just real quick. Dude, the, the locust God is such a busted magic card. Like <laughs> the fact that they have haste. Makes yes. All the difference. I mean, it's just like, it's insane yeah. to me. There's so, like, there's so many times and, you know, in a multiplayer setting, it's okay. I mean, it's not as bad. There's three more removal pieces, but in one versus one, there's so many times where like, I'm against the ropes, I'm down to four life and I'm like, well, let's just see what we draw into. And then it's like five wheel effects later. I'm like, all right, yeah, good game. <laughs> like you escape death somehow. Yes. Don't mind if I do. Yeah. If only that was the end of it. <laughs> oh, you let it go. I nearly added Rakdos Charm into my deck, and if I'd known I'd be seeing Locust Gods, I definitely would have added that. It's yeah, it has a, a modal oh, effect on it for anyone who doesn't know. Yeah, uh, each creature deals one damage to its controller, which uh, would be interesting with Locust yeah. God on the field. I always think about that, like. I come across that card like, man, I need to put that in something to, uh, to like really have some fun with it and like just, you know, catch the one person that's got 400 tokens on the battlefield and be like, boop. Yeah. Against an elf deck or yeah. Avenger of Zendikar, something like that. Mm-hmm. Six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, cool. Uh-oh. <laughs> I love just counting nine. Okay, cool. I can't wait to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's usually Eli, I find, watching the lounge. It's usually Eli just subtly whispering numbers to himself. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you got to watch out. 
Yeah, exactly. <sighs> that lightning you should, grieves. You're just counting how many land drops I've missed. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be missing those land drops, man. Okay. Hmm. That's been a few. T First time it was warm power stone. Now it's chasm skulker. Every time <laughs> DJ taps for three mana, I'm thinking we're going to see a wheel. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I get really scared. I'm like, <gasps> okay. Uh, I think. Uh, well, Jace, I yeah, you're right. <laughs> good, you good. guys got that massively big one one blocker. So yeah, Jace uh, not Tezzeret. Yeah, yeah Tezzeret's Jace. scary. Jace is doing nothing. <laughs> ah. It's still alive. It'll be fine. <laughs> Jace ain't killing anybody. <laughs> Where is Jace? Oh, he, Jace is hiding behind the, <laughs> the the token for a second. Yeah, Under that's why PJ cloak. didn't swing. He couldn't see it. Under his cloak. Jace is the master of <laughs> illusions. <laughs> about that chasm skulker tech mm -hmm. chasm skulker, he's it's pretty good <laughs> little uh little card especially because <laughs> you get a ton and especially that they have island walk too that is uh yeah that's always all good. for three mana too i'm like yeah, yeah can't go wrong with that and that's another one of those m15 designed by mike newman whoever that is i'm not sure but that, it, it's a pretty cool design yeah they need to let me design a couple cards. Oh, I, man. I think about a two or three drop aristocrat sack outlet commander all the time. Like if you could somehow like, like, and I don't know what the, the appropriate cost would be, but like smushing together blood artists, a sack outlet, and then Esper colors or some, not maybe not Esper colors. But so the commander that I would make would be uh flying haste angel, red, kay. white. When it attacks, you return target creature, uh, either go two power or three mana cost from your graveyard tapped and attacking. Oh, I like that. that. That'd be like, that'd be the value piece that like everyone complains that Boros doesn't have. So it's like and, a red, white, hasty flyer that brings something out of the graveyard? And tapped and attacking, yeah. That's, I, I like that. That, that would yeah, definitely like it, be... It's uh, so on color and it's so like fits perfectly and just like fills a role that fills a void that you know is not the, i'm running whip of erebos too <laughs> but yeah fills a void that's just not there yeah let me see joel <laughs> there's the, <laughs> we got it's life gain <laughs> we got one life gain over here and i, I want to make sure it's mine sorry <laughs> i'm really hungry for life gain And we're finally going to be getting some uh, some magic after dark going too. I think. <laughs> I mean, I thought this game was going to be over like forty five minutes ago. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Thought it was be like someone's going to someone's going to play like a Liliana's caress. Someone else is going to play Nekusar. Next person plays a wheel. Oh, we all die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this it's just getting to the interesting part now. Yep. We on turn eight. <laughs> turn eight. I give it three turns. Meanwhile, Jolt just uh, climbing higher into the stratosphere, life wise. <laughs> Not me, nah. I'm 43 or 43, man. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what is a life total? I mean, like, abstractly, like, come on, PJ, like, what does it even mean? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it doesn't happen super often in Commander, but the best is when you can win from one life. Okay, who we, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be good. Do you have Ether Flux Reservoir in this deck, Joel? Because you probably should. <laughs> I don't. I thought about it, but it's like, there's no way my life total is going to get that high, like metagaming this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't suppose it's as good in multiplayer either. It's fine. Like it. I've seen many people uh, get shot with an Ether Flux with a spell on the stack. As the uh, sort of counter spell, <laughs> yeah. You could take the last player out, I suppose. Yep. 
Although usually what happens, like, most people usually have, like, 50 or 60 life, so when they Aether Flux, if there are other people left at the table, then they usually die to what's at the table. Because their life total goes to, like, I don't know, 10 afterwards. Yeah, yeah. You really need to get to, like, 100, 150. Kind of, kind of be safe for that, but... Trading post? Ooh, I should have put a trading post in. That's another card you never see played, and it's really good. To yeah. the moon! Now, now, the, now you're just copying me. <laughs> uh, I, I was playing at the shop the other night, and a kid tried to sacrifice his Brea, targeting his Brea with the trading post. I'm like, uh, no, that doesn't work. You can't like, it can't be in two places at once. <laughs> And we had to take, you know, we had to take like a five minute rule break to like go find the rule and do it. <laughs> like, yeah, that card would be busted in half if you could, you know, return <laughs> the thing that you were sacrificing. I always love it when you like you first get into magic. Well, not always, like it happens all the time, but like getting into magic, like when you have something like certain rules interaction like worked up in your head, like it works this way, and then they're like, no, that's not how that works. I was like. I remember I was at a pre-release and I had, it was like one of the first pre-releases I went to. And for some reason I needed an extra card in my graveyard. I think it was like Go Gary Reasons or something. And so I was like, well, I'm just going to cast a spell with no target. And then I tried to like put it into my graveyard. And the guy's like, you can't do that. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, this will work. This will really get my graveyard going and then something else. But it was just, I think it was just like a removal spell with no creatures on the battlefield. But somehow I needed it in the graveyard. Yep. But he was like disappointed. He was like, you can't do that. I was like, oh. Yep. Okay. Uh, nine times out of ten, whatever you want it to do, it doesn't do that. <laughs> yeah. I remember being like, oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. You're like, oh, this is disappointing, but then you're like, oh, wait, it would be like just completely broken. Oh, if, yeah. If it did this thing that I'm wanting it to do right now. The one that always bugged me for years was um, Shieldred's upkeep trigger. Okay. The creature needs to be in the graveyard before the start of your turn. Like uh, you can't put yes. the trigger on the stack and then get something in the graveyard, and that would like to come target up. So it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I could see that's you know, the one that always got me. There's things that are always really just you know confusing in general with magic because you think something makes sense in your head, and you're like, ah, oh, no, technically it needs to be on the stack and then targeting something. But yeah, yeah, I get that. I'm ready for the That's wheel effects idea. to start going. That way we can get the locust god and yeah. <laughs> Spad one two. I heard the the keys there, and I thought there was some yeah. secret messaging going back and forth. <laughs> yeah, I did too. I was like, all right, who's yeah, let's some secret alliances. Let's get, let's get those going. Is, it, is there a secret alliance between Joel or PJ here? <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. My hands are in my pocket. I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> I, I normally have a space heater where I record. I don't have it on because sometimes the mic picks it up. So <laughs> yep. my hands are safely in the hoodie in the pockets of my hoodie, trying to stay warm in this weird cold Texas weather. Uh, Getting there. Oh, Tezzer <laughs> didn't do anything. He's trying to get, uh, is it Ethereum that he has, right? Yep. What? He's trying to kick his Ethereum habit, Eli, and you're attacking him when he's down. Come on, man. I know he's wearing the patch. <laughs> the, 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 yeah, I like that, the Ethereum patch. Can you imagine, <laughs> like, the... The, the veins coming out from like where that patch is all metal and like glowing. I love it. Ooh. Oh. Uh. Um, well, guess that's happening. I'm okay with this. Yeah, I think we're good with that. Be a little baby squid token. Yes. <clears throat> Get a lot small. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly. I was playing uh, Peer and Toothy in multiplayer the other day, and Toothy got absolutely huge. And there's, as far as I'm aware, other than Imprisoned in the Moon and things like that, uh, as soon as it comes off the field of play, you're drawing a boatload of cards. Yeah. And Chasm Skulk is a, a similar effect to that. I always like the uh, the squid token. <laughs> it's so wild looking. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty wild looking. Look, they could have just left it like normal looking, but no, they've got like the... 
They got the teeth things going. Someone made a Sand Warrior token uh, that was getting passed around on Twitter for anyone Ooh. that plays Aces on Tamar. It was like, print this token out. This is the one you need. Cool. <laughs> nice. I'm, speaking of that deck, there was always there's this one person that always would like, hey, Jolt, you on? Do you want to play? I was like, yeah, I'll play. And he always played that deck. And it was always like, man, I would just get beat so bad. I would just oh, like, yeah. I'm like, dang. That good, man. <laughs> yeah. I just remember being like, whew. Man, hey, I don't want to be rude, but like, I want to, <laughs> I want to record an entertaining game, not just. Get, oh, yeah, get I want to not get crushed right here. We got a, uh, we got a memory, jar, a memory jar. That's a memory jar. That huh. is a memory jar. <laughs> I love the do, do, nothing to see here. Sorry, what you scared? The pain. Clean up, yep. Yeah. Kind of wish I would have uh, saved my metamorph to go for that memory jar. That'd have been, <laughs> been pretty good. Memory jar is a sweet card. The card's it, uh, busted. I've been picking man. up some steam and white. Yeah. I run that in Duretti, uh, the original Duretti. It's really, really good. Well, it's just anything that draws you just to, hey, here's a fresh hand really quick if you want to do right. something with it. Yep. Well, especially in, in colors that struggle with card draw. Yeah, mm -hmm. really good. Yep. The only uh, caveat is you have to cast the spells this turn. It is beautiful with Smothering Tithe. Ooh. And uh, then that all combos with Ameria Angel. You can get it back. Or no, Ameria Shepherd, rather. Ooh, yeah, that is... Uh... I need to add, I need to start like adding that. Rift. Destroy everyone's board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make oh, them discard God, it. Yeah. I did that one time and I felt really bad about it. <laughs> I was like, oh. Like, the, like we were having a good game and mm. it, like it felt dirty, but I was like, eh, sorry. It's kind of the only line of play I've got. Hey, Rift is dirty. Doing it, I think we're doing it. Uh oh, doing it. That's not good. <laughs> mm. I'm good with this. Now, do you give PJ a free grip or not? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> very, qu very quick. <laughs> no, that would be bad. Um, ooh, earns. What's this? How is nobody really? Oh, guess we're trying this number again. Ah, oh, dang it. <laughs> I mean, when you get, when your opponents get cards like Locust Guard and Chasm Skulker on the field, it kind of dissuades you from wheeling. Mm -hmm. I mean, why would you? It's just yeah. kind of funny. We're like an hour in. There's been attempted wheel. <laughs> I don't think there's been any wheel effects at all. <laughs> yeah, I I tried a wheel of fortune, and I don't know if anyone else. You discarded one at the beginning of the game, didn't you, John? <laughs> yeah, dark deal. <laughs> I was like, I, I was like, I'm not ready. Well, I think you know, you're at the beginning of the game. You don't want to just like let somebody get all their early mana rocks out, and then like, hey, yeah. here's here's a fresh grip of just a bunch of pain to to distribute out to everybody. I meant to, uh, might have had a counter spell for that locust god, but I had auto yield on. <laughs> I was like, uh -uh. <laughs> I was trying to hit the auto yield button real quick, but then it just went, I was like, dang it. Yep. I had the, uh, <laughs> when the, when the bedevil hit my, uh, ivory yeah. tower, I had auto yields on because I had that mana drain. <laughs> yeah. You're like, ah, ah. I always hate that. Mash the button. Ah, uh, come on. Yeah. Like you're hitting F3 <laughs> or the three button. Just go, go, go. I auto yielded to the pain triggers from the first Nekusar. I think it was Eli's, and then quickly removed that. I thought that's not a clever <laughs> yeah. idea. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, I'm bad. I'll like I'll auto everything. I'm like, oh wait a second, I probably should have responded to. Mm -hmm. the I thing should have done that. This polluted we need, bonds. We need to edit yeah, bonds to get see there, how much man. life. Yeah, we need a little life um, counter to see how much life Jolt's gained from that polluted <laughs> bond. <laughs> yeah. Just a little bit. What does it gain you life too? Yeah. Oh yep. my god, it does. Yeah, it drains yeah. you too. Each player. Yeah. That's good. Four point swing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially if it's oh, like oh. a fetch land, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Wish I ran that one, man. Yeah, because it, it's there's slim pickings and life gain in like Grix's colors. <laughs> it's yep. slim yeah, pickings. Yeah, there really is. <laughs> <laughs> You're limited to like Devil's Horn or Demon's Horn and like Polluted Bonds and like. There's another spell that I have. If I draw into it, I'll I'll very quickly show it off to y'all. That's really good for this <laughs> match. So, exsanguinate. <laughs> well, that that might or may not be in here. Yeah, I've got one. Mission briefing, huh? He's already an source. Uh, you may cast it this turn if we put it into your graveyard. Exact. What are we going for? Yeah, for anyone watching, basically an instant or sorcery I can cast from my graveyard. That feels good to be running that in standard. It feels like Snapcaster. I mean, basically, it is Snapcaster. Yeah. It's just double yeah. blue Snapcaster, and it feels no body what, though. Well, yeah, no body, but it still feels that. It still feels good. Hmm. Demonic Tutor for Damnation. Yeah, having some... I don't have any Exile effects in this deck, so... Jolt definitely going to have 50s? some... <laughs> there we go. <laughs> let's, let's search up that Aetherflux. <laughs> I wish I would have put... I mean, I was like, there's no way. I was like, don't even put Aetherflux in here. There's no way you're going to get that much life gain. I remember saying that. Like, I was like, that's... <laughs> this is... You're, you're doing wishful Jolt thinking. On running this card in there. <laughs> Putting a Necrosol life gain deck. Yeah. <laughs> Group hug. I like the uh, the demonic tutor, the dude in the background. <laughs> so yeah. creepy. It's cool art, but it looks like it belongs on a kill spell more than a tutor. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. It's kind of weird. I mean, like, I don't, like, even if it's Demonic Tutor, like, why, why is he in a boat? Where is he going? I mean, like, you kind of, like, yeah, I guess, like, he's tutoring to, I mean, in, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the, the demon's showing him where to go. <laughs> he's teaching the big how to road. watery road. Or maybe the, the pirate's the Demonic Tutor guy, and then the demon hired him as a fishing guide service. That might be it. He's uh, tutoring him how to row. Just, just keep moving. Oh there. no! Just keep moving. Uh oh. Yeah, that happened. Do 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 do. Nice play. Oh, I did it. Nice play. <laughs> <laughs> the guy with the least number of cards in hand <laughs> is being the biggest thorn in my yeah, side. <laughs> Welcome to the lounge, man. Welcome. <laughs> At least you don't have to deal with heroic intervention. Yeah. 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 No, I won't be too sure. I haven't written that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you sneak always it in have that card. You just like mulligan until you find it or what? It's uh, the, the card just loves me. <laughs> Keeps a one card hand. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of times like that, that that happens. I'm like, yep. I was talking to a Perforos player uh, about how Perforos always has impact tremors yep. or <laughs> uh, uh, was it Nor in the Wary? And he says, because you just mulligan until you have them. Like, once you have them, you snap keep. I'm like, oh, I get it. That's kind of like, uh, like if, if, like, I played Lord of Wingrace the other day, and I had, like, Entomb, which was going to be Life from the Loam on turn one in the graveyard, and then I had one land. I was like, yeah, nope, that'll work. <laughs> I'm like, even, <laughs> like, even if I don't hit the next land drop for the next four or five draws, as soon as I get Entomb, Life from the Loam, and then I'm just go to town, and I did. Yep. So it's kind of uh, very much like that. You just, yep. All right, heroic intervention in two lands. Let's go. <laughs> Choose a number of cards to draw from Arcane Denial. I think I'll take two. Yeah. I forgot to do that once in paper, and that hurts real bad. Okay. 
you're pretty strict with it then, PJ? You don't do take back season and all that? Uh, usually it's not too bad, but by the time I remembered, it was like significantly later and would have been a problem at that point. Yeah. Like if I had caught it anywhere during the turn, I'm sure it would have been fine, but. Yeah, when it doesn't make any difference. Yep. I get bad. Like I start talking, chit chatting with people and I just, I play terrible. <laughs> Oh, spell skite. What? <laughs> spell skite is good. It's like affinity for artifacts over there. <laughs> Neck you, sir. Three, four, five. Five mana, six mana you got. Hold on, let's see. Trying to make sure, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> no, dang it. Ah, oh, crack. Oh, wow. Crack. <laughs> uh, no, I did have enough. I, I saw I had Bloodstained Mire. Dang it. Anyway, all right. And Dragon's Claws. Where's the blue one? Hanging around somewhere. <laughs> Hopefully we can get it's it's like that artifact. Um what is it? The um it was in the core set where if you had the scepter, if you had the chair and you had something oh, okay. else, yeah. You, yeah. Once once you get it's like a Captain Planet, once you get the demon's horn, the uh the dragon's claw, and something <laughs> else, you're good to go. I never assembled that one. Maybe that should be a goal. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, that was the very like. So when I got into Magic, I played on Magic Online, and that was one of the pre-constructed decks that you could play. Oh, and yeah. I remember when I finally got the entire combo online, my opponent scooped. I remember being like, oh! I remember being offended that they scooped. It's like the game's not over. Like, yeah. but I get yeah. like as a player now, I get why they scoop because they're not going to win against that. But I remember that was the first time where I encountered somebody scooping because they didn't like what I was cooking, and I was like, well, yeah, <laughs> all right, fine. What was I playing the other day? I played something the other day that was just like, oh, it was uh, Joda top 10 creatures you should kill. Ooh. So it was just like a steady stream of like Praetors and Eldrazi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, once Vorinclex is the one that'll make people scoop faster than anything else. Oh, yeah. Vorinclex hits. I'm like, all right, yeah. man. Good well, game. Vorinclex is a surefire way to see if people have spot removal in their hand. Yeah, because you see that and you're like, uh, you need to get out of here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I've seen you mention that on your channel multiple times, PJ, about how I've only just been getting into multiplayer in the past literally few weeks. And yep. the number of people that don't run spot removal in multiplayer is mind boggling. Oh, it's insane. It is insane. So uh, I've been thinking about this for a while. And I think what happens is because it's so easy to build the deck on Magic Online, you're not you don't have to be that invested into the the actual building of the deck mm -hmm. and because you can play games so easily and because they're generally shorter like it doesn't force people to like care to build a better deck because like if you're at the shop for like an hour and a half getting wrecked because you didn't run removal <laughs> yeah then, like you're, you're gonna, gonna remember in. that and you're gonna go home and you're gonna put removal in your decks like magic online i think people are just less invested and you know, I, yeah. you'll see some questionable deck building. I, I can see that because like, there's a lot of times where like I, I, I did the Zagana deck and I did I put zero artifact and a chair removal in there. <laughs> and then something popped down from our opponent. And I was like, uh, so we don't have artifact or enchant removal. And I remember Eli was like, <laughs> he left a comment like, "Dude, you don't have artifact or enchantment in <laughs> blue green." I was like, mm. I was like, yeah, I'm getting a little cute on that. I think you're more likely to get advice in the shop as well from other players. Yeah. Whereas on Magic Online, it's seldom anyone even goes in the chat. Yeah, and it's just like I don't know. Um, it's weird because like Magic Online games will go shorter for like partly that reason and that no one's running removal, and so like when no one runs removal, just whoever like kind of gets to their thing first wins. Yeah. Which usually just means like run all the mana rocks. Um, 
But when you get to the shop and someone lays down like an austere command or a vandal blast or, you know, whatever board wipe, then the game's going to go longer. It's going to go 12, 13, 14 turns sometimes. Mm -hmm. And like that you want to you want to have bigger things in your deck where if there's no removal at all, then it's kind of you want to be a little bit quicker, a little bit faster. I don't know. No, that, but, that that makes sense. But it does keep it interesting for me because, like, I play enough online now that, like, it would probably not be great if I went to the shop and it was exactly the same experience. Yeah. So, like, it's a little bit different. Like, things happen differently, so it at least keeps it uh, fresh and exciting. Yeah, no, and that's that's something I, I want to start doing. Um, Ew. Oof. Really? That just happened. Hmm. Eli? Yes. <laughs> Eli said there. yes. Eli, <laughs> yes, I did it. I'm sorry. I'm looking at Jolt 61 life. <laughs> how, to, how to get around it. <laughs> Demon's horn. <clears throat> Vampir Tutor. I don't even know. Hmm. Get some of that Grixis enchantment removal. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh... There was something. I was looking through EDH Rec when I was making this deck just to see if there was any cards I was missing. And Temple Bell, um, a three mana artifact that taps to draw everyone a card, I think it is. Yep. And in situations like this where you can vampiric tutor and then draw the card you tutored yep. for, you know, it yeah. seems like that would be very useful at this point. Oh, yeah. I mean, well, I even think I the... cut that one. I've Howling Mine, but I cut the bell, I think, even though I probably should go the other way on that. But it works out really well. Like running that like little incremental card draw, like you mentioned, for those uh, tutors that go on top, it always, always yeah. ends up feeling pretty good. Well, there it is. <laughs> There it is. Jolt, any more counters? Uh, no, I'm fresh out. I, I am uh, fresh out. Unfortunately, Jolt doesn't have a bigger hand. Uh-oh. I do. Uh-oh. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> There's so many triggers on the stack. <laughs> Wait, did, I got one. <laughs> For all I know, I could die from this as well. You had a lot of cards in hand there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, we just got blue elemental blasted. <laughs> oh, the Nike sir. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That doesn't help me, Joel. <laughs> that doesn't help me. <laughs> it kind of does. Wait, are we dead? Uh, I am, I think, because... Well, where's the Neku Sar gone? Oh, did that get blasted by the... I gave him oh, a Pyro Blast. Are... Now, does that replace these triggers? Does that take Infect off those? I think so, because the Infect goes to the source. Yes. Because I was definitely dying to... Yes. No, wait, no, it's still saying Infect. I oh, think. wow. It is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm getting infected, so that's me done, I think. Hmm. I thought it was, uh, I guess, Jolt needed to do a response to the wheel. Well, I didn't have it. Somehow I, I drew that card. Oh! <laughs> 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 nice having you on. <laughs> Thanks for being on the lounge. Yep. <laughs> I'll see you all in the next one. <laughs> oh, <thanks for> <laughs> me. That was that pretty sad. Uh, yeah, Eli being true to his word, baptism <laughs> by fire. <laughs> I love that, dude. Like, and I never even thought about doing infect with like that. That was a pretty good. Uh... No, I just kind of. Uh, That's because you're not a bad person, Joel. Because <laughs> you're not a bad. <laughs> okay, well, this kind of changes what uh, I think I need I, to. Well, I just died of PJ now. What's that? I said I just died of PJ now. Oh yeah. That's a uh, last turn where you crushed my. Uh, the. Uh, What's it called? The memory jar. It was all set up to do the whole table at once. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, I figured I figured as such. <laughs> I was just gonna wheel and crack the jar. It would have been more than enough. Who ran this spicy tech? 
<laughs> what did you bring back? Uh, the ivory tower. Uh. I I miss when there was planeswalkers and um, with Nekasaur, it was like you could target, like you could redirect the damage to planeswalkers, and that was like. Oh. Yeah, dude, yeah. that was so like. And there's no better feeling than playing against super friends and like getting a wheel effect going and just watching them yeah, all play. slowly crumble away. Planeswalkers did get much stronger because of that rule change. Yeah, I hate that rule change. So like, I play Ashling sometimes, and like Ashling used to be able to hit planeswalkers. It doesn't anymore. Like, I, I get why they did it because like as a new player, when you say like, yeah, you gotta target your opponent and then say i'm gonna redirect it over here. like that doesn't make sense like you're like what yeah like, like what <laughs> it's kind of one of those just just take like your parents like just take my word for it like okay like i mean i get why they change it but yeah it does kind of screw up a lot of those other cards hmm, what are we doing what are... play this thing Ooh, this old thing time twister <laughs> I had time twister in my hand for multiple turns there and there was always oh, blue really? mana held up. <laughs> That's why I love time twister. Like it's just like a dollar on magic online and that it feels so good to get to play with that <laughs> card like that. Yeah. Yeah. I've had about four wheel effects in my hand the whole game. Yeah, I had, uh, I had wheel of fortune since I think my opener. <laughs> Look how many yeah. charge counters is on Sun Droplet. <laughs> so it's weird with Infect because I'm actually going to go up in life because of the uh, the way that the Infect damage works. And you can only gain one life per turn, right? Yeah, it's only one per turn. Okay. See, I thought about doing that. I was like, man. And so I, I almost did Sun Droplet. I was like, let me just put all the, the different pieces. Oh, man. Uh, two, three, four. Yeah, the problem is you can't get up to 61 life with Sun Droplet, can you, Joel? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> just a few little cards over here. Didn't go exactly how I but thought. But here's the deal. With the Locust yeah. God, you get a wheel effect. And, like, man, that's – I mean, I'm at 60 life. But that you're looking at, like, a – 20 point swing from the from the locust god sometimes especially depending oh, yeah, on what you've got going much. so it just basically turns my 60 life into like a uh, a three turn clock basically by the time that happens yeah that's all my locust god deck is is a bit of control and then wheels i mean it's just silly i mean like you mentioned the fact that they have haste that is so yeah even yeah. if they didn't have haste like it would still be a very very powerful commander to deal with I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever used the loot effect on it, actually. Yeah, I forget it's there. I do. Yeah, like, yeah, so do I. I uh, every once in a while, if you just like run out of things to do, but you care about drawing cards so much that it just doesn't usually happen. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, that's gone. Ooh, oh, I ripped into just like nothing but lands. Maybe. I've heard that wily Texan trick before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nothing but land, sure. Nothing but lands over here, partner. <laughs> Might as well just mosey on down the road. <laughs> Doesn't that just kill PJ, though? I hope not. One day, one day I, I didn't show. really do the math. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be completely honest. <laughs> One, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. I can see a way out of right. the <laughs> Oh, I got six if I get enough. PJ, if you'd have just taken yourself out, I would have laughed hard at that. Yeah, I thought that it's was happened before. <laughs> Dude, when you went for that, oh, that, I've done it plenty of times. that primal surge, and I was like, yeah. and then you brought back Arcades to draw a card, and it's like, good, 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 good game. I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it has happened before. Um, What am I doing? Dude, well, you time spurred me into a time spur. <laughs> <laughs> Now, do you need to team up against Joel is the is the question. Oh, I'm dead. 
Yeah, I think he just dies on the uh, draw step. I couldn't do anything about Jolt's uh, Nekusar and had a bunch of wheels in hand, so I was like, well, I'll at least uh, show one way you can take people out with uh, Nekusar, and that's effect. <laughs> Eli said, hey, <laughs> Travel Kai, you, come with me. I'm going to show you the green room in the, uh, the EDH lounge. <laughs> Come backstage, I've got something to show you. Stab. <laughs> well, pow! <laughs> Welcome to the lounge. As <laughs> he drops the Knocked dive. Out. <laughs> yeah. I'm just on the floor out cold. <laughs> oh no, Travel Kai is bleeding out. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the lounge. Apply shade. <laughs> yeah, that, that is uh, pretty much how I feel about the lounge. Okay. Right. Um... Shared animosity. Let's go. Oh man, oh, that would, that would be the wild meta game call on that dude. Yeah, but that honestly, that would work out. That would need, that would be a good game. Right now. Yeah, he needs to take you out now, pretty much. I mean, I'm hopefully, I just sure. rip into something with off howling mine next turn because it's it's not looking good over here. There he goes with those wily tricks again. I'm just saying. <laughs> Don't trust him, PJ. He's got no mana. Yeah, I've got no... There's nothing I can do right now. <laughs> One black mana, he's just like, darkness. <laughs> Dude, I, I, I love it, like, that was... Uh, there was a modern deck on Star City Game that ran that card. And then, like, it... um. Like it was in that set that you're like, is that even modern legal? And then like just looking it up on Star City Games, like, what is this card? I just love it when like old cards like that do. Uh, that's the fog effect, right? Yeah, I love that. Totally fits the flavor though. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm swinging it at Tezzeret. Seems good. Yeah, if, if Jolt can't swing in at PJ, then you almost have to take out Tezzeret. Because mm -hmm. that ultimate will certainly kill someone. It'll, it, it's, eh, maybe. I don't know how y'all yeah, do math over there. But. <laughs> ours, is, ours is a little bit different than, uh, yeah. than how you do it across the pond. Yeah, this it's, damage is a metric. Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's not going to take anybody out at this table oh. at this point right now. We're a we're a mix of uh, metric and imperial over here. We're <laughs> oh bit, yeah, I forgot. A bit funny like that. Sometimes it's feet, sometimes it's centimeters. <laughs> I always give Andrew a real hard time because he's like kind of bad at math, but then I kid him that it's the conversion from. But <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I remember no the, the very the, the very first lounge that we recorded. He had all those goblins, and he's like, "Man, I just yeah. don't know what to do." And it's like, he's like, I think I just lose the game. And like, we were like, you don't lose. I mean, you just make, he's like, oh yeah, I make some, sorry. <laughs> he's like, I'm bad at math. <laughs> he's like, I think I'm dead. I'm like, dude, I think you're taking like 10 damage. Dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Someone needs to get him an American calculator. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's go. Let's see. I'm you're pretty sure Texas Instruments has an office down the road. Mm-hmm. There's one in Dallas. I'm I'm still surprised that those TI calculators, like I walked through Target or something, and they're like eight hundred dollars. I'm like, what? Why are they? Why are those still a hundred dollars for those graphing yeah. calculators? <laughs> All right, just to, for prosperity, let's go Mana Crypt. <laughs> the people wanted it. That people are going to get it. <laughs> Tron, in the Tron assembled. Got the full play set. There we like go. Well, Joel Tron. wins, in my opinion, just for that. <laughs> the bingo sheet. Oh, yeah. That's not a good one. Yeah, that should do it. Yep. I like it doesn't have a wheel in hand. I've got the best wheel on the stack. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. right. Very good. Each discards their hand. The instant wheel. Yep. That's going to do it. I uh, I figured that I figured that wheeling was probably bad because I think you were at zero cards, right? In my hand? Yeah. Before. Yeah. I had nothing. Yeah. I had nothing to close the game out. I had nothing. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, you just want to be down with the Lucas guy by that at that point. I was hoping to like, yeah, I was, I was hoping to catch something else. I didn't quite draw the way that I wanted to off of the wheel. So yeah, yeah. the big thing that I was running in this deck that uh, we're not going to get to see, I was running the uh, the two black enchantments, Sanguine Bond and Exquisite oh, Blood. I thought about doing that, but I was like, man, that is so that is so wishful thinking. Well, like the one that I really wanted was Exquisite Blood because every time you guys lose life, I would gain life. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, there Good we go. Game. Finally, <laughs> like I, I won, like I won the second, and I think I've, I've won like eight years ago, and I find it feels good to win again. So, <laughs> made while, it man. finally. Good All game. right, so that was uh, definitely not as explosive as I thought it would be. Any, any, any deck changes y'all would make, or let's we'll start with Eli. I would definitely go more your style, more control build. Yeah, either that or mine is just pedal to the metal. <laughs> just just really get it going. Uh, how about you, PJ? Yeah. Anything you would have done? Or are you happy with the, um, the meta game calls you did? My, I like my build. I just I didn't catch the mana rocks early like I wanted to. Like I, I was running a ton of signets and things and didn't catch anything. So yeah. I just felt like I was behind in the early turns and lost a lot of tempo with the Locust God not staying in play ever. Yeah, that that uh, that definitely does kind of get it. Uh, how about you, Travel? Any uh, uh, any meta game calls you wish you would have made or you were happy you didn't get to see? I uh, yeah, going for that blatant thievery was pretty greedy. I think I ended up drawing into a mana drain there, so I could have done something about Eli's uh, shenanigans there. But that's my own fault. That's nothing there, uh, nothing I can do about it. The actual cards in the deck, yeah, I don't think I would change anything. I have a couple of meta game things, but just really decided to go with control. So I think I'd keep it like that. Very nice. Yeah, I um, I was really like on the fence about polluted bonds. I was like, yeah, just put it in there. If you get it down early with a rock, that'll really help MVP. out. Yep, <laughs> MVP. <laughs> uh, I need to go back and see, or if anybody watched and kept track of how much life we lost, I'd love to see that. But uh, yeah, I just went the life gain, and it felt good to get the Kraken's eye right at the last two. But the <laughs> life life gain worked out. And one of the things that I did run was a lot of bounce spells. Because I figured if the game got down to like a bunch of wheel effects, just simply just bouncing somebody's neck or back would be enough to kind of like just like complicate things horribly. So that was kind of yeah. life gain and there's just bounce spells were my meta calls. And then also to kind of fight the imprisoned in the moon style effects because that's not fun. Yeah. I had a Venture's journal that I was hoping to get down. Oh, that very nice. Oh. Very nice. All right. Well, anything, anybody else want to say anything? Are we good? Uh, yeah, yeah. Cool. Gross. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Well, uh, hopefully everybody enjoyed the video. Once again, be sure to bounce around between the channels, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. We all really enjoy that. And if you enjoyed your stay at the lounge, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Bye. Bye.